just when you think everything is reopening and everything's getting back to normal, we're going to be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! again, it's all going to be great. No! No! I'm so... <laughs> I'm just so tired of this shit, y'all. I am so sick and tired of the bullshit of the corona stupid ass virus. This shit has gotten so out of hand, and I'm so fucking sick of it. Uh, for real, like, honestly, like, look at this shit. You know, they say the typical PR bullshit. We believe it's in the best interest of our community to extend the postponement of our organized play and promotional events through Tuesday, June 30th, 2020. We're aware of the steps that communities across the nation have taken to gradually reopen and share our community's enthusiasm to resume organized play and promotional events as circumstances evolve throughout the coming weeks. We may provide another update, which is not going to happen, relating to the status of local organized play and promotional events prior to June 30th, which is bullshit, you know that they won't, as we review government health authority guidelines, because they're totally not busy dealing with George Floyd. <laughs> and then you come here to the remote dual thing, it says info will be available June 2nd, and the shit's still not here, obviously. Why am I not surprised? And apparently, we're also supposed to get a ban list no sooner than June 1st. Can I just tell you right now, in my humble opinion, I don't think that we're going to be getting a ban list uh, anytime soon. And if we do, it's going to say no changes. Here's the reason why. People like Robbie Cole and all of them, they say, well, a ban list is going to happen. They're going to ban Block Dragon, do all this shit. Even if they do, think of the ramifications for Konami. Think about what it is that they're going to have to do. Because if they put out a ban list saying this is banned, this is limited, whatever, then they essentially have to acknowledge the fact that shit like EDU Pro and Dueling Book, Dueling Nexus, all this other shit exists. And I don't think that they even want to acknowledge the fact that that shit exists. The other thing is, is that why is it that you would let May 31st go by and you don't say anything? And then June 1st hits, so the day after, May 31st, everything is supposedly back to normal now, and then you put out a statement. Why would you wait until after the fact, when this whole point until now, you've always said it before the fact? Why would you get us excited and, and hyped, and then just to be like, no, F you, we're, we're not opening anything? Honestly, and th this pissed me off so much yesterday when I saw this shit, because literally, this was my mindset then, and it's still my mindset now. This literally makes me want to quit the game because you're literally just pushing shit back and back and back. What's the point of even putting out Eternity Code in three days? There's no reason to. I'm not going to go out and buy the product. I'm not going to go to my locals and support them. I don't give a shit because I, lit I literally don't. There's no reason to go out and purchase cards, whether it's from TCG Player or your local game store or whatever. It's, it's asinine. It is so ass backwards and asinine. And it's, it's bullshit. It really is bullshit. And I, I hate to sound like an entitled Yu-Gi-Oh! player prick because I know that there are a lot of players in the game who are toxic and entitled. And I get that we're in a pandemic. I get that we're dealing with protests and riots and all this other stupid shit. But at the same time, why can't you do something to where people can still play the game and enjoy themselves and get away from all the shit in the world and don't tell me remote duels because i can tell you right now konami no one wants to do remote duels remote duels is the stupidest shit that you have ever come up with literally the stupidest shit ever why don't you put man hours into making your own dueling simulator like dueling book or dueling nexus the ds games i always go back to those because they are such a good example of what a good Yu-Gi-Oh simulator is because number one they would update the ban list to the current ban list they also had sets that would go out to whatever the current set was so like you could even do stuff in advance so a perfect example would be if they were to release a game for let's say the Nintendo Switch right now and they called it you know I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist good version and not rush duel speed duel shitty eat my doo-doo garbage version <laughs> they would have 
uh, sets like all the way out to Rise of the Duelist and possibly even further if they already knew what they were going to have. And so that way players could work towards getting those cards and, you know, not microtransaction shit, obviously, but get enough duel points where they could get packs and get new cards and whatever. And even like on the old Game Boy games, it was a similar thing, except you could use a cheat code to get all the cards and then you could play people online and have all the cards and play test and do whatever kind of things you want to do. Obviously, this is way back before we had Dueling Book or anything like that. But if they keep on delaying this shit, for me personally, I'm just going to quit playing the game altogether. Because, yeah, I can play test and do all the shit that I want to do online, but I know how to play all the top decks. I know how all of the decks function. I could go to a regional right now, and I would feel very damn well confident that I would get my invite playing at Emancipator or Eldelish. That's not me trying to, you know, show off. That's just me being honest of how much play testing I've done. I know how all the decks function. So... One, the shit's boring right now because there's nothing to do. Number two, none of my locals are open, which I think is batshit crazy because Florida's basically completely open because, you know, our governor's like, we need to get back to work now. And on top of that, like, if you keep on delaying shit and you don't have any single, any kind of organized play, it's not going to encourage people to play. It's not going to encourage new players to get into the game. Like, it, it's just not. I'm being completely honest with you. And the remote duel shit is so ass backwards and bad because people are just going to cheat. Literally, people are just going to cheat. I don't give a shit if you say, oh, well, if their camera cuts off, then they get a warning or a game loss or whatever. No, d stop that shit. You can't control people's internet. You can't control people's connection. You just can't. You should have made a dueling simulator and not this remote duel garbage ass shit. It's not going to work. I'm telling you, it's not going to work. People are going to cheat. People are going to stack. And I'm not even touching it. I'm not going to go into a discord just to be like, oh, hey, who wants to play? And I got to deal with trolls and shit. I'm not going to do it. Cheers, by the way, since I'm drinking water and I can't use my webcam because <laughs> literally my, my, my room is a mess. So moral of the story, you guys. Konami, you need to reopen shit. You need to actually give us a good in-depth statement of what it is that you're planning to do. Because I know damn well for a fact that you're not going to give us an update before June 30th. You're not going to reopen shit early. And you're probably bleeding money. And we are back. I don't know why the recording cut out. My screen went to black and then the recording stopped. So we'll just kind of fuse them together. So, <laughs> um, you're bleeding money right now, Konami. I know that you are because people can't be buying sets right now because, again, what's the point of buying shit if you can't play, if you can't swack some scrubs? I mean, honestly, there's no reason to. I have not bought anything Yu-Gi-Oh! related since this pandemic. I mean, even before this pandemic, I hadn't really bought stuff because I was waiting for events to pop back up, and that shit's definitely not going to happen now. So, anyway, you guys, if this shit continues, I'm just going to quit the game because this shit's just getting ridiculous. We're getting so far out to the point that, you know... Yes, you can play test online. Yes, you can learn the meta. I understand that. But eventually, it's just going to hit a point where you're going to keep on releasing shit and no one's going to care because we're in a pandemic. Eventually, you've got to bite the bullet and say, look, we're going to reopen. We're going to do what we need to do. You know, even if you have to have limited events throughout the country, you know, maybe not have any events in New York, but then have events in Florida, you know, does that force people in a way from other states that they have to travel? Maybe. But number one, if they do, then they should obviously be wearing a mask and shit and be safe. Number two, it's just more competition for us locally. So that's never really a bad thing. People still get to play. Again, I don't mean to sound entitled, but this shit's just getting really out of hand and I'm sick and tired of it. Konami, reopen your shit or give us a better statement than just this PR fluff crap. Because honestly, I'm about a week away from quitting the game entirely because I want to play. I want to... I've gotten better so much better and i want to know you know what it is that the meta is going to be in an irl setting i do believe that online tournaments can show what the meta is like but i also like seeing you know live gameplay you know no one wants to just look at a edu pro screen all day it's boring as shit and i'm still working from home and that shit probably won't last much longer unfortunately so while i have weekends off I want to go to locals because god knows once all this shit goes back to normal i'm gonna have i'm gonna have mondays and tuesdays off again not Saturdays and Sundays. But that's a story for another day. Guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you've not already. Konami, reopen your shit. Because I'm damn near close to quitting the game. And you should be too, viewer of this video. Because this shit that we're dealing with has gotten out of hand. And this, this stuff needs to stop. Honestly. Like, I'm sorry for sounding entitled, but 
this shit's gotta stop.